Hello everyone. This is the tutorial number two, conversion and sizing. ENCS 421 Chemical Reaction Engineering 2015 Winter. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to solve a problem related with reactor configuration. So in this, in this first problem, we have a plot of CN0 over minus RA versus conversion for non-isothermal, non-elementary multiple reaction liquid phase decomposition of reactant A. The question is, for part A, consider two systems shown in the figure above in which CSTR and PFR are connected in series. And then we have information that the intermediate conversion is x equal to 0 0.3 and final conversion is x 0 0.7. Determine how the reactor should be arranged to obtain the minimum total reactor volume and please explain your choice. So there are two different scenarios that we can use. The first scenario is to use CSTR reactor first until conversion 0 0.3 and then followed by PFR reactor until conversion X 0 0.7. Or in the second scenario, we can have PFR reactor and then followed by CSTR. So to answer this question, we can sketch the plot that we have which is CN0 over minus RA with the conversion. And then we apply into the plot what will happen if we use uh, the first scenario. So if we use the first scenario, which is CSTR and then followed by PFR reactor. So at 0 0.3 conversion, if we use CSTR, then we're gonna have to calculate the area of the rectangle up to conversion 0 0.3. And then if we use the P of PFR after that, from 0 0.3 and 0 0.7, then we have to calculate the area under the curve to find the volume of the PFR. However, in the second configuration, If we use PFR and then follow by CSTR, then we will have to calculate the area under the curve first, which is for PFR. And then if we use CSTR for the second reactor between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7, then we have to calculate the rectangle area of this. So you can see if we compare the first scenario, which is the first picture here, and the second scenario, we can easily see that the second scenario using PFR followed by CSTR will provide a smaller volume compared to first configuration. Let's continue to part B. So the question is, if the volumetric flow rate is 50 liter per minute, then calculate the minimum total reactor volume 
from configuration that we already choose in part A. So the information that we have for part B, we have the volumetric flow rate equal to 50 liter per minute. And then we know that the configuration that we choose, the configuration that we choose is PFR followed by CSTR. Let's redraw the picture again. So we're gonna have PFR reactor from zero to 0 0.3, represented by trapezoid in here. And then we're gonna follow by using CSTR reactor from 0 0.3 to 0 0.7. So for PFR reactor, for PFR reactor, we can use the formula of the volume equal to Fn0 multiplied by the integration of dx over minus Ra. Of course, we can expand this equation into volumetric flow rate multiplied by the concentration and then the integration of x over minus ra. If we pay attention to this integration, this is basically equal to the area under the curve. So the integration in here, CN0 over minus RA dx is basically the area under the curve. So we can use trapezoid rule to calculate the area and then to calculate the volume so V PFR is going to be equal to volumetric flow rate, which is 50 liter per minute, multiplied by the value of CN0 over Ra at x equal to 0 plus Cn0 over Ra at x equal to 0 0.3 divided by 2 and then multiply by the conversion at the outlet which is 0 0.3 and the conversion at the beginning. So we will have the volume of PFR equal to 50 multiplied by 10 which is the value of CN0 over RA at x equal to 0 in here and then we're gonna have 50, which is the value of CN0 over minus R, it's x equal to 0 0.3, divided by two multiplied by 0 0.3, we will have 450 liter. 
and then for the CSTR for CSTR we can use the formula of F and not over minus RA at the outlet multiplied by the X in the outlet minus X in the inlet again we can expand it into volumetric flow rate multiplied by the concentration over RA at the outlet multiply by X in the outlet which is 0 0.7 and then the conversion at the inlet so we will have the volume of CSTR it's going to be equal to 50 multiply by 15 which is the value of CA0 over RA at X equal to 0 0.7 multiply by the difference of the conversion and then we will have 300 liter so the total volume total volume will be equal of will be equal to volume of PFR plus volume of CSTR which is 750 liter let's continue with part C of the problem so in part C the question is at what conversion would the required reactor volume be identical for either CSTR or tubular PFR find one at least so what it means is if we look at the reactor if we look at the plot in here we have to find a certain conversion between 0 to 1 to find the volume so the volume of the CSTR will be equal to the volume of PFR so the strategy that we can do is basically do trial and error however before we do a trial and error we can predict where we're gonna have the conversion x where the volume of CSTR will be equal to the volume of PFR so if you take a look at the plot from 0 to 0 0.3 conversion if we use PFR reactor then we have to calculate the area under the curve which is the area of trapezoid however if we use CSTR between 0 to 0 0.3 we're gonna have to calculate the area of the rectangle so what it means at x equal to 0 up to x equal to 0 0.3 the volume of the CSTR will always be bigger than the volume of PFR or the area of a rectangle always bigger than the area of trapezoid trapezoid or area under the curve area under the curve and then if we look at 
at the conversion between x 0 0.3 and x 0 0.7 if we use PFR for example between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 then we have to calculate the area under the curve however if we use CSTR between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 we just need to calculate the area of rectangle this small so what it means at x equal to 0 0.3 up to x equal to 0 0.7 we will have the volume of CSTR always big always smaller than the volume of PFR right so what happened basically if we add any area between 0, 0.0 to somewhere between 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 for example 0 0.5 there is a possibility that we will have so between between x equal to 0 0.3 to x equal to 0 0.7 and if we start from x equal to 0, there is possibility that we can have volume of CSTR equal to volume of PFR. Let's start from x equal to 0. So at the first guess, we can, we can choose or guess at x equal to 0 0.5 so at x equal to 0 0.5 we will have the value of CA0 over minus RA that we get from the plot close to 30 so what it means if we want to calculate the volume of CSTR from 0 to 0 0.5 we will have the volumetric flow rate multiplied by CA0 over minus RA at x equal to 0 0.5 multiply by the conversion at the outlet which is 0 0.5 and conversion in the inlet so this is going to give us the volume of CSTR equal to 50 multiply by 30 multiply by 0 0.5 which is about 750 liter and then if we try to calculate the volume of PFR for the same range of the conversion so we will have to calculate area under the curve the curve from x 0 to x 0 0.5 multiplied by the volumetric flow rate. What we can do if we plot again we will have 0 0.3 in here and then we have in here 0 0.5 0 0.7 so we need to calculate the area under the curve from 0 0.0 to 0 
five. So we can approach this calculation by calculating the area of trapezoid one and then the area of trapezoid number two. If you calculate, we will have the total value of 50 multiplied by the area of trapezoid one which is going to be 9 and then the area of trapezoid 2 is going to be 8 the phi total it's going to be 850 liter so based on this calculation we will have the volume the volume of PFR bigger than volume of CSTR. So what we can do is basically to move our gas into the lab, which is le less than conversion of uh, X equal to 0 0.5. We can choose conversion of X equal to 0 0.45 or X equal to 0 0.4. And then from there, we know which one is going to be higher again. Is it going to be VCSTR? If we have, if we guess, uh, for example, if x equal to 0 0.4, the volume of CSTR is going to be bigger. Then we're going to have to move to the right. So somewhere between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. And then at the end, we can get the conversion that we'll have a volume of CSTR equal to volume of PFR. Now let's move to the uh, problem number two, which is the Levin spill plot of the Fn0 over minus Ra in the y axis and the conversion in the x axis. So this is the plot showing typical of a reaction carried out in isotherm isothermally, and, and the curve shows in figure is typical of a gas solid catalytic exothermic reaction carried out adiabatically. So the first part of the question, which is part A, assuming that you have a fluidized CSTR and PBR containing equal weight of catalysts, how should they be arranged for this adiabatic reaction? In each case, use the smallest amount of catalyst weight and still achieve 80% conversion. So if we, if we take a look at the picture in here, uh, we can easily see that if we use the first reactor CSTR, for example, we calculate, we use a CSTR close to this, then we will have smaller volume compare if we use PBR because if we use PBR then we're gonna have to calculate the area under the curve which is much bigger than the area of the rectangle and then of course up to 80% conversion if we use the PBR reactor, we will have a smaller volume. So PBR, we will have a smaller volume compared to if we use the CSTR reaction, which is going to be the area of the rectangle compared to the PBR reactor it's going to be the area under the curve so it means the weight of catalyst is smaller if you use pbr from intermediate conversion to 80 percent conversion so we can conclude for part a the best configuration 
configuration to achieve the smallest amount amount of catalyst will be the CSTR reactor followed by PBR reactor. Now let us move to the second part of the question which is part B. The question is what is the catalyst weight necessary to achieve 80% conversion in a fluidized CSTR? So what we can do for part B, the question is the weight of the catalyst if we use CSTR to achieve 80% conversion. If we draw the plot again, At 80% conversion, we will have the value of F naught over RA roughly close to about 30 kilograms. So at x equal to 0 0.8, the value of F naught over minus Ra equal to 30 kilogram. So we can easily calculate the weight of the catalyst for CSTR, which is equal to F and naught over RA at x equal to 0 0.8 multiplied by x out, which is going to be 0 0.8, and x in, it's going to be 0. So we end up with 30 multiplied by 0 0.8 minus 0, which is equal to 24 kilogram catalyst. And then we can also move right away to part C. The question is to calculate the weight of the catalyst to achieve 40 percent conversion from the plot we can find at x equal to 0 0.4 at x equal to 0 0.4 somewhere here it's about 19 so the value of f and naught over RA is about 19 kilogram so we can easily calculate right away the weight of catalyst of CSTR at x equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by x out is going to be 0 0.4 and x in is going to be 0. We will have about 19 multiplied by 0 0.4 minus 0. It's about 7.6 kilogram of catalyst.
let's continue with the uh, part D of the problem and part E, which is to calculate the PBR weight is necessary to achieve 80% conversion and for part E to achieve 40% conversion. Again, if we try to draw so the weight of PBR to achieve 80% conversion. If we draw the plot again, so we can see that we have to calculate the area under the curve. We can use, uh, we can divide this area under the curve into a couple of trapezoid. So in my approach, I will try to use, to separate this into five different trapezoid from 0, 0 to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, and then 0 0.4 to 0 0.5, and then 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, and the latest one, it's going to be 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. So what it means, We're going to have to find the area of each trapezoid and then later calculate the total area of the five trapezoid. So we can write here that the weight catalyst needed for PBR reactor to achieve 80% is going to be catalyst needed from 0 to 0 0.2 and then 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 and then 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 and the last one 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 so for example For the area under the curve number one, we can use the value of F0 over RA at x equal to zero. It's going to be 60 plus the F0 over RA at 0 0.2 is going to be 30. Divided by 2, multiply by the range of conversion, we got 9 kilograms. And then for area number 2, we can calculate it with the data at 0 0.2 conversion and also at 0 0.4 conversion. Multiply by the range of conversion and we get 4.9 kilograms. For area number three, we do the same thing and we're going to get about 1.825 kilogram. Area number four is about the same 1.825 kilogram and area number five equal to 4.8 kilogram. So in total, the weight of catalyst, if we use PBR reactor from zero to 80% conversion, we will get about 22.35 kilogram. And then if we continue to part E, the catalyst needed to achieve 40% conversion is basically the amount of catalyst that we use for area number one in here and area number two. 
So in total, it's going to be 9 plus 4.9 equal to 30.9 kilogram cathodes. Let's continue to the part F of the question. So in part F is plot the rate of the reaction, which is minus Ra and conversion, which is X, as a function of PBR catalyst weight, which is W. So for part F, we have information of the Fn0, which is 2 mol per second. And then from the plot, we can also get the information of conversion, which is X, and also the value of Fn0 over minus Ra in certain conversion. <clears throat> so based on these two information, we can calculate the reaction rate, which is equal to Fn0 over the value of Fn0 over minus Ra that we get from the graph. So for example, at conversion x equal to zero, from the graph we can find the Fn0 over minus Ra is 60, so we can calculate the Ra 2 over 60 or equal to 0 0.03, and then the weight of catalyst is gonna be zero for this conversion. And then if we go to the conversion of x equal to 0 0.1, we can find the value from the graph Fn0 over minus Ra equal to 40. And then we can calculate the reaction rate 2 over 40, which is 0 0.05. And then we can calculate the weight of catalyst based on trapezoid rule. It's going to be 5 kilograms. So at the end, if we can make a table consists of the value of Fn0 over Ra, the Ra itself, the conversion and the weight of catalyst, we can plot the value of X, which is conversion and the reaction rate over the weight of the catalyst.